Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for visiting. Today I'm going to do a little break from the tag series um, because I ran across an exciting technique I want to share with you. And uh, first a little show and tell and then we'll get started. Um, craft show craft show item these cute little purses adorable they hold a little I'm going to put um, probably Hershey nuggets in there but they also hold a gift card so a little velcro closure there which I might have to go get different velcro than Dollar Tree because it doesn't appear to be holding very well but they are super simple to make I will probably do a post and a blog post and post the video where I learned how to make them um, no cutting just scoring and folding and gluing so those are adorable Okay, on to announcements. Um, Senior Susie Stamps did a really nice collage this week, last week. A two-part series where she, she doesn't collage very much, but she did very well, I thought, and it was kind of a unique idea where she um, use scraps and stenciling so I thought it turned out lovely and then this week's um, technique I'm going to show you here is how to age any paper let me get my um, things straightened up here because some of these are already done and some aren't. Okay, this one's not done. So, we all have it. Those shiny images, magazine images, cards, whatever. But this technique is how to age vintage any paper using wax. And I have been playing around with this all week because I thought it was so cool. This is uh, from a glossy advertisement or periodical. I'll show you in a minute here. This is from a magazine. Take that and make it look like 1950s for sure. This is from the same periodical. I tried a book page and this is from my glossy book that I showed you a few weeks ago or a month ago or so and um, very glossy pages so you don't even have to make them look vintage if you don't want but you can at least take away the gloss and that's great. <laughs> so I was very excited about this and it is not my idea so I'm going to give credit where credit is due. And that is from Willow57 Sandra Robinson. I'm going to post the link to the video. I'd like you to head on over there and subscribe to her. So let me do a brief, you know, we all have them. She used, so that I don't copy, I'm using some different types of items than she used. Um, she used greeting cards. We all have them. Nice cards, but, you know, some of us don't like the bright colors. She also shows you how to get rid of text, which is sandpaper but um, 
you know, we all have them. They don't necessarily bother me, but um, if you want something vintage and you think, well, okay, this is nice, but it might not, it not, doesn't look too vintage. So I'm going to show you how to vintage age any paper using her technique. So here is some other, this is the um, periodical where I took one of my images from. I've used magazines. Um, here is the, here is this. I have these lovely butterfly books that have been sitting around forever. Tons of butterfly images that I can use. Never, never knew what to do with them. Finally, this is my first, first and second one here. Also did this little, little card. So, there's some more. So today I'm going to be using several different things. Everything except greeting cards. So I went to uh, Goodwill, found this lovely book with these lovely images. But and it is not glossy at all. However, most people would say, oh, this is way too bright. <laughs> way too bright. And way too modern. So, this is what you can do to um, vintage these up. Okay. So, what you'll be needing. Here's some more pages. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Um, what you'll be needing are your images. Um, I just backed mine on index cards. You'll be needing a heat gun, an iron, or a candle. Some stamps or glue, some stamps and glue, and that's about it. If, I, if there's anything else, I'll let you know. So I am going, for your sake, oh, and you'll need your cover paper. <laughs> she used um, packing slip roll, tape. Um, you can also use tissue. I use tissue. Tissue is actually my favorite. I also use regular 20 pound copy paper. This is tissue. This is copy paper. Um, this is tissue. I did use her packing tape on one. Maybe this one is packing tape. Or the one thing I didn't try, which I'm going to try, is the other, um, the separation from your napkins. So, and that's another one I'm going to try today, which is the very bright napkin. So here is, for your sake, I have these already stamped. And I'm just going to do one for your benefit. And then I'm going to uh, shut off the camera, set up the everything for process too, and then I'll turn it back on. So this is tissue stamped and the image from the book. This one I particular, 
particularly wanted to show you because it's a magazine image and it's tissue and just to age it on its own even if you don't want to do the wax <laughs> that's that's aged so you don't even you can just leave it with tissue and it looks fine but wait until you see the magic this one is copy paper and I'm going to do a magazine here with you which I already have it glued and I'm going to show you two techniques if you have your um, scrapbook paper that you don't like is too too bright you can add that and and on uh, one of my magazines I use some very bright um, scrapbook paper along the edge here to cover text like this so another thing you have to be aware of is that what is on the back might show through um, I don't know if you can see that but there's a little bit of text that's showing through because this is a magazine from the opposite page is going to become a little bit tr transparent as you apply the wax but usually that's not a problem and if you don't if that's going to bother you, you can simply take a little piece of sandpaper and just blur it out a little. But be careful because this magazine is so thin, you can, you're going to go right through it in two seconds. So be careful and just look if there's something like, you know, I might try to remove that box or just blur it out a little so it just looks like a color, something like that. But generally, it's not the problem you might think it is. So don't worry about it too much. So I'm just going to put a little tear edge on here, glue this down, do the stamping, or glue down my top sheet, do the stamping, and then we'll get on to the reveal of all of them. I didn't do that part because I want you to see the surprise on camera. I know I'm covering a little bit of that, but wait, let me, I don't have to get it so close there, I'll just trim. Okay, just trim that off, and then I'll do, um, as I said, I prefer the, I really prefer the tissue look myself, but it depends on the image, depends how how much you really want to obscure it or bring it out. So if you really don't if you want it to really fade into the background I would use the um, copy paper
if it doesn't bother you. Then use, oh wait, I still need that. Okay, if it doesn't bother you, then use something lighter, the tissue or perhaps the napkin. Let me see if this is going to work. Okay, yeah, and if your um, roll tape doesn't fit, which it's not, I'm going to, um, I did a little tear edge. And I'm just going to have a little overlap. But that didn't bother her, and it doesn't really bother me either. So make sure your paper is nice and covered with glue because that's another thing. If you don't get your top piece glued securely, you're going to get a white oh what would be kind of like a ghost but that's another thing you might use that to your advantage maybe you don't want to bring out the entire image and there's some text or something that you want to hide so don't glue that spot. And then it, <clears throat> it won't become transparent as transparent. Okay. So you're just going to cover that like so. Get that nice and secure. Trim it off. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm jealous, my one friend. On a beach vacation, although it's it's been just as rainy there probably as it is here, which is getting to be quite depressing. Um, it's been raining now for probably almost three weeks and I decided that tomorrow um, I'll probably do two videos because this is kind of a bonus but it might not be till Wednesday because I've decided that rather than sit around being depressed about this weather. Might as well head out and do my do some rainy day photo shoots and I hope I didn't do that but I did or no did I? Maybe not. I always have a tendency to turn my um, index card upside down instead of right side up. But it doesn't matter. I just clip off the top line if I have to, and I might have to guillotine that edge just to get it more straight. But there you go. There's your um, the next step. And now, for your sake, again, I'm not going to do a lot of stamping. But I'll do some here and let me get it. I'll do some aging and um, stamping. And I don't think I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use gray for my text because I don't really like black. I don't really want to use black. So I'm just going to take a few stamps here, and I'll probably just do this one 
rather than take this this stamp is I really wish it wasn't this size but this stamp is a really nice quality stamp very happy with it I was hoping I would have the same luck yesterday at Goodwill but I didn't So let me just think, where am I might put that? I probably should have went the other way, but oh well. You get the drift. Clean that off. And I'm just going to go probably around the corners here lightly. Oh, actually, that's brown. It's not gray. That's espresso. Oh, well, it'll still work. Okay. Just going to lightly go. Around the corners here. Get another section. And I'm just randomly I'm not stamping in this whole square shape so that I can get. Um, Just kind of a more random. I'll just see if I can get a ghost there. One more along the top and bottom, I guess, a little bit. Okay. So, anyway. It's been rain, rain, nothing but rain. We finally snuck in dinner last night outside and then sure enough within an hour it was thunder and lightning. But at least we got to eat outside. That's that's depressing to me. I look forward to summer. I like every season, but I look forward to summer. And I spend as much time as possible soaking up the sun. So there you go. There's the stamp. Let me get around the edges here a little bit. And um, I should be going over the center of this a little bit with antique linen, but um, my antique linen is finally running out. So, let me see if I can hopefully get some out of here and um, age up this center a little bit. At least get that. I mean, I, I can barely see this, so I know you're not going to, but... going to try to avoid the white as much as I can. Without using walnut stain.
Aged and that's vintage enough, I guess. Okay. So get this put away. Okay, I will be right back in five minutes. Get set up here and then we'll do the second part and we can all see the reveal together. Hopefully I didn't lose my, um, oh it's that one. Okay, the bird, the magazine, and the napkin, and another magazine. I'll be right back in five seconds. Hi everyone, me again. So I changed my setup. My iron is nice and hot. Uh, I want you to know that she used a heat gun, but now it's time for the candle. And you'll need a blotter, parchment paper, and something to melt your wax, which I use an iron, you all know. I. I'm shocked a little for craft irons. I don't know. I'm still on the fence. I'm still on the fence about a heat gun. <laughs> because of Longfellow's wife who caught on fire melting wax. And um, I don't know. This is it's not very well ventilated down here. So here is the one we did, and I just have nightmares of heat guns and combustibles in an enclosed space. So I go with the safe method. Even though if you touch this paper too fast, it is quite hot. But you can see, watch that. Watch that background coming out. This is so awesome. And it's quite shiny. I'm going to blow it up here in a minute. As soon as I get this other side. Maybe my iron wasn't as hot as I thought it was. But here we go. This should do it. Hopefully. Okay. There we go. And as you know, I use a um, digital to pull up my excess wax, and then I have a uh, by the time I'm all done waxing, I have a new vellum sheet to use for something else. And I always use a digital for my blotter. Here we go. I hope you can see that um, scrapbook paper showing through and the magazine and there is a little more opaque line from the the overlapping tape but that doesn't bother me but that is awesome make any 
Magazine Vintage. So cool. Okay, now I'm going to do the bird on tissue. And you'll, I, I kind of like tissue the best. Although it depends on the image. So if you want like a 1950s vintage, I would probably use the copy paper or the, or the roll tape. But if you like your image, it's just not as vintage as you would like it. <coughs> or it's just, yeah, it's just a little too bright. I'm going with, and that gets hotter much faster. So. that up. So there you see I'm getting a vellum, getting a vellum digital as I go. Want that a little more. Make sure I'm in camera here. And I know this video is probably going to be a little longer and I hope I'm not shaking the camera as I go but that could be blotted a little more but there isn't that gorgeous love it love it okay now the one now the one I don't necessarily think needs wax but I'm gonna do it anyway Just so you can see. Oh, that is so cool. This is getting super shiny, so you're probably going to get a glare here until it dries. And let me get the entire thing. That is too cool. And I don't, I can't remember what was on the other side, so I can see if it's um, showing through. on that one and that I mean look how much of that that needs ah, ah, that's hard it needs blotted more Just gonna let that cool a second. That is gorgeous. And I should have maybe done my stamping in dark, but there it is. Still looks vintage though. Although I kind of lost my stamping, but oh well. Maybe I should have used black on that one. But that is awesome. Okay, what's next? The napkin. Where'd my new one go? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the first one. There's the bird. There's the other magazine. And now the napkin. Let's see what happens to this. 
bright thing. This one has the copy paper. Hot. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Just muted it. That'd be lovely for a nature journal. That's nice. Running out of heat here. That is very nice. Yeah, I kind of find that some of the brightest things that you might not want bright are napkins. Oh, and don't let me forget one thing to tell you here. Don't worry about if it soaks through to the back of the index card, the wax that is, because you can still write on it. And I think I, I think I have an example here where I wrote on the back. So you can see that. Oh yeah, that's that's gorgeous. Look at that. I think that might be one of my favorites. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So that went from I just bumped the camera cord, sorry. That went that went from that to that. That is fabulous. Love it. Love it. And see it soak through. I would keep going until it soaks the whole way through just to avoid that splotchiness. But um, here I'm going to show you here in a second. Let me get this out of the way. There. See, I wrote on that. You can write on that with ink. If your pen doesn't go at first, just keep going. It will. Don't worry about it. it you can write on it. You can stamp on it. it. It's not as... doesn't become as waxy as you might think. It still retains somewhat of the paper quality. So, okay. Let me get this out of here. Love it. Love that. Love that. Let me see here. I can't really see. That needs blotted some more, but um, I can't really remember what was on the other side of the paper. But I, it doesn't appear to be showing through. Love that too. Love the bird, of course. That's just from the book, and it's just um, the original color here. Okay, another thing I'm going to do. I um, I don't know where it went. Oh, it's underneath my iron. There you go. That's the original. Underneath my iron. I've, I'm posting um, I'm posting the photos of these images before they were covered so that you can see what they were and then what they became. There's the bird and there these have to be placed under a book as well. And there's the one we did today. There's the lavender and the um, scrapbook paper. So, okay, this is going to end up being about 45 minutes, but I think it's worth it. 
That is absolutely love it, love it. So thank you, Willow57, Sandra Robinson. Please head on over there and give her a subscribe. No skin off my back to subscribe to someone. And I do it all the time. I think I'm subscribed to over 450 channels at this point, but head on over there and be kind and do that because that is, as I said, thank you for bringing some excitement back to my craft room on this rainy summer. Fabulous technique. Um, especially if you're doing junk journals and you're harvesting all your images from books and things like that. Especially if you do not like the glossiness of magazines, which I do not like. You can just cover them with tissue as I showed you, or you can do the wax. And again, don't worry, you can write on the back. Okay, I'll see you probably Wednesday everyone and we'll get back to the tag series but this is fabulous thank you again Sandra see you next time bye